Hey everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are out rail fanning the Polar Express train, the 1225 Christmas train out of Owasso, Michigan. This is a huge fun thing that we try to do as often as possible. Jack has his own channel called Jack the Rail Fan, so check that out on YouTube. We're taking him around so he can get a lot of video content. We're going to go to as many crossings between here and Ashley, Michigan as possible. It's an hour and 15 minute train ride from Owasso to there and they've priced us out of the ticket range for a family of our size and he's decided he likes to watch the train and hear the horn and be in on all that excitement because one day, well next year he's old enough to start volunteering over here and start getting into it. Year round, lots of fun experience. Look at that. So they just did the all aboard and everyone riding the train is boarding right now. It looks like they're adding more coal to the fire. I'm sure it's been warming up for a long time, but they're gonna build up that pressure and take off here probably in about 15 minutes. We're parked about a block away, so we'll catch up with the train at the next crossing. Now, if you're not familiar with this Pier Marquette 1225, this sat at MSU, Michigan State University, for many years. And at one point, the president of the school wanted to have it removed and scrapped. And a lot of efforts went into saving it and restoring it. And it took the long trip from East Lansing, Michigan, over to Owasso, where it was brought here to the Steam Railroading Institute and restored. To its current condition and I'm sure it's had several other things done to it over the years but to my son this is a huge beauty we'll go talk to him some more about it Jack tell us a little bit about the 1225 the wheel configuration weight class stuff like that uh, I don't remember the exact weight I think uh, it's 260 something tons. Uh, it was built in 1941. November 1941 is when it was finished by Lima Locomotive Works of Lima, Ohio. It worked for the Pierre Marquette for 10 years before it was retired in 1951, and then it was donated to the Michigan to Michigan State University in 1957. It sat there on display until in 1969 students got together and started to fix it up. In 1975, its boiler was pressurized with steam, the fire was all lit, and by 1987, I think it was, it was up and running in Owasso, and it's been running ever since. It hasn't been running for the last about two and a half years now. I last saw it in about four years ago in 2017. Now we're going to chase it all the way to Ashley. And what's the wheel configuration on this? What's it called? It's a 284 Berkshire. And what does that mean? Tell, tell my viewers who are not rail fans. Oh, yeah. it, it has two wheels in the front, leading wheels to guide it into turns and keep it stable at high speeds. Four, uh, eight drivers, that's four on each side, and they're what give it power, give the power to the rails. And then it has four trailing wheels that hold the weight of the firebox in the whole rear of the engine. Attached to that rear, uh, attached to the, attached to the trailing truck that holds the four axles is a booster motor, a booster engine that's also run off of steam that gives it an extra boost of power on startup. And what are they pulling today? The, there's the locomotive and the tender. Looks like two cabooses. Uh, they got a car up front, then a whole bunch of mismatched cars behind it. Okay, so se several passenger cars, probably a couple of dining cars. They have a special caboose uh, deal where you can rent the entire caboose for your family. 
and have your own little Christmas party in there. There's there was just a man standing here. Uh, you go in your pajamas. You go in your like 1940s, 50s clothes. It said, you know, ha have just a regular old-fashioned Christmas day of it. Um, there is a Christmas village set up at. Uh, Ashley and we'll be stopping by there for these two little people to be able to see Santa Claus and the big guys too. Um, maybe get some lunch up there and we'll tell Grant, uh, we'll tell Santa Claus what we want for Christmas, right? Yeah. We'll try. Yeah. So there goes some more pajama wearing little elves and they're gonna go board the train too. Alright everybody, Merry Christmas. Right? Merry Christmas 2000, what is this, 21? Yeah. <laughs> oh, all this stuff about 2020, 21, it gets me all goofed up. All right, the last of the people are heading out. There was a long, long line from the bathroom. Oh, here's some more elves dressed in their jammies. And somebody came and said they're ready to go. They're just waiting for the last of the passengers. They blew the whistle, George. Get ready. since he was a baby in diapers. See you all at Ashley. <laughs> all right, two cabooses. Wave to the people, Georgie. Wave to everybody. You get to be the first person to wave them off. That's the Vixen car! The Dancer car! <laughs> Amtrak by levels. See? Did they run those when you were little? I remember the double deckers. Yeah, but these are different. These are Amtrak. It's the seeds from the plants! Oh, yeah! Is this a diner car, Jack? I think that's what we rode in was the older cars. We did this train ride when Jack was little uh, with his big sister. He was probably about between three and five. And we did it again a few years later, I think. And then we went when George was little, but it wasn't the holiday train. But I believe it was pulled by the 1225. Hey, there's an F40PH there, X Amtrak. Oh yeah. Or or so Antia. they started adding these double deckers here so that they could take on more capacity. And last year during everything in 2020, they did not run the train at all. So 
the steam railroading institute and the efforts to fund anything were put on hold everything ceased and here we got diesel engine number 310 and instead of turning the train around at ashley the diesel is going to be pulling out All right, so we've come up north of Owasso. You can hear the train coming. Turn your volume down. I'll put some notes in the beginning part of the video for you too. And this is just a little note for me to remember. Um, so we're at West North Street and it turns into Mason Road further down um, to the west. Guys, I think you're too close. <laughs> They're like, let us ride on the tracks. Okay. And you can't, hey, you can't fall down this ditch <laughs> back it up. Um, so the little kids and Murdoch are sitting in the car because you have to move pretty quickly from one uh, station or crossing to the next. And at M21 in Owasso, they had uh, several police cars blocking it. I don't think that this is a regularly run rail line anymore is it it is great lake central railroad okay so there's a lot of stop sign crossings and people not being on alert uh these are only running on saturday and sunday 10 in the morning and five at night and we wanted to get you know daylight and snow um it started to snow a little bit yesterday but um they've had some snow plows and salt trucks out today so we should be able to make pretty good time going from one there. crossing to the next well we kind of goofed up at that last crossroad uh, we didn't realize that there were two crossings on this road several lines going into town <laughs> so we're on the wrong side of the tracks literally right now to being um, caught up in ahead of the train uh, Jack's grandpa took him rail fanning last time through here in the evening so he wanted to go during the daylight look at that wow uh, so we just pulled over real quick we got as close as we could and we'll catch up up at the last crossing because all the other people rail fanning parked right on the road and there was a snow plow truck coming at us um, the roads are a little bit icy we're having to take it easy and go like 45 instead of 55 and there's some big steep ditches here we're taking it easy we can get more shots of it on the way back all right we've caught up with it at a couple more crossings, we are at Bannister, Michigan. We took a big long stretch, got ahead of a few other cars so that we could kind of get off some of the country roads on some main roads and came in on, oh, I think it was called Allen Road. A couple twists and turns, map it. Definitely map it, know where you're going because the GPSs are all wrong lately. So we got a good amount ahead of it. Let me turn this around so you can see it coming instead of seeing me. Watch your volume, turn it down. You're getting all wet, buddy. Mommy, there's no snow in here. Watch the train. I see you guys. Bud.
to Ashley and we found the big guy. We are waiting in line to see Santa and I think that this is going to be George's very first time. We got Mrs. Claus over there and Santa here. Yeah, it's a busy place. So if you didn't ride the train here, uh, bring a little pocket change. It's $5 for a sticker um, like to put on your coat for the kids to get involved in a lot of arts and crafts and free things going around town. Just like everything, it's a tourist trap. Bring some money. There's like candied nuts. Um, the fire department has a lunch kitchen set up with soup and hot dogs and stuff. So we might head over there after a bit. We'll see. Um, but yeah, we're super excited about seeing Santa. George says he's going to ask for a tractor and a planter or trailer. <laughs> All right, you ready? Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything. She's been asking for face painting stuff for herself. It's a good business. How do penguins look? It pays me better than most jobs out there. <gasps> Yes, honey. Yeah. Go over to Jack. Where are you watching? It's a superstar. Oh, well. But you get health insurance. Yeah. She's going to ask me, how did she do that? Hey Jack, you want to help George pick something out from the board? Yeah, she gave me flowers about a week ago. Two weeks ago, we made homemade stuff that we saw. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think the one we did, it was just something we Googled. Flour and cornstarch, and I think it said shampoo maybe or something to keep it creamy, but... But all kinds of lessons on YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's how I learned it. That is great, and your face turned out so wonderful. Yeah, that's nice. taken in front of 1225 or use your camera to take pictures they've got um 
a horse and wagon down there for horse rides. There's all kinds of like carnival treats, some street games. There's street vendors. The kids got uh, balloons and face painting. From the ticketed train riders, there's gonna be a drawing for the first uh, present of Christmas. We got some roasted nuts. There's a booth there. There was some in the buildings and different things. Um, we really ended up not having to worry about uh, anything with, you know, admittance to anything for having a sticker ticket for $5. I'm sure the money goes to the city, but hi. You're going to see steam shoot right out of the second whistle back there. Okay. The first one was... You better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making all this, checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleepy. He knows when you're awake. Be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town.
on the wrong side of the tracks from where you uh, got off the train, that's okay. There's a pass-through car that you can get back on the correct side of the train and, and get to your car. Great evening shot. Um, this is called Allen Road. It's near a county line, so it was called uh, Chapin Road in another section. Uh, I think that it was Saginaw County on one side and it must be Cratchit County on the other. Um, it's an old closed down elevator, and this is a beautiful spot to get the train later on in the day. I can see we've got a crossing uh, sheriff down there. They're manning all these um, unsignaled crossings. There's old sidings and buildings here, but it's a good opportunity to get the train. Um, they are pulling it with the diesel. So since we didn't get this photo opportunity before, they're going to be coming this way with the diesel headed towards us. And the main engine, the 1225, is going to be in place where you would normally see a caboose. And we'll be able to get that photo shot of the 1225 right here for Jack. Just to show you in reference, it is a little after 2 o'clock. We started here at about 9.40 this morning. We left our house probably at about 8.30. Um, this was one of our first crossings where there was the tracks. Um, the map wasn't showing a second crossing right here at all. And that was at North Street in Owasso. Um, we came up here. We went to Wolf Crossing. That wasn't part of our stop. I had written it on um, our detail list so that we could try to get there. We just barely made it there um, because of the roads. We made it here to Carland and skipped Elsie. We went up here to Bannister and got a really great section or shot there. And now Ashley, and the train is coming now.
So that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching. We need to go get some lunch. We normally eat our lunch around this time of day. It's no big deal, but it's been a cold one. We did the best we could getting out of the house and we still forgot our gloves. So we're gonna go warm up and get some food in our belly and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye and happy holidays.